Okay, everybody, when you think about America, a lot of things come to mind. A lot of things come to mind. Baseball to apple pie, but especially at a big sporting event, I think you could add this to the list. The Goodyear blimp flying over that event. You all right, dude? There's an it edge. was the last cup of coffee, I think, <laughs> that got me. Been you okay? okay. Well, I have to tell you a funny story. When I worked in Jacksonville, Florida for a few years before coming home to Cleveland, it literally made the news when the blimp would fly over on the way to Daytona yeah. to cover the I race. Bet. Oh, yeah, sure. So it was right. a huge deal. And, you know, here in Northeast Ohio, when you grow up here especially, you're kind of spoiled. Ah, there's the blimp again. But every blimp needs a pilot. And we were lucky enough to get to catch up with Taylor Dean. Captain Taylor Dean is one of only three women actively flying airships in the world. She was in Akron recently for the Goodyear Wingfoot 3's christening. She's the senior pilot of Wingfoot 2, based in the Los Angeles area. Every day is an adventure in blimps. We always do a bunch of different things. We have passenger rides one day, we'll do an event the next day. We have uh, cross country the next day. You know, it's constantly changing and it's varying, which makes it a lot of fun. Captain Dean got her pilot's license in 2005. Then she became a flight instructor. She was on track to become a commercial pilot when... And I remember seeing the blimp when I was flight instructing one day in Santa Monica and I was doing ground, I was inside and somebody came in the building and said, the blimp's outside doing a low approach and everybody's dropped what they were doing and went outside to watch the blimp. And, and it was one of those times where it's like, oh, that's an amazing job. Like, I want to do that. And three years later, she was hired. She's flown over major events like the NBA Finals, the Oscars, even the Rose Parade. All cool things, but there's more. One of my favorite parts of what we do is we, we actually donate rides to charities, local charities around uh, our area. And that allows the community to come in and they can actually physically bid on the seats that we offer at the charity auction. All the proceeds will go to the charity and then whoever um, wins the auction gets to go in the blimp. For many, that's a bucket list item because riding on a blimp is by invitation only. Um, everybody who gets on and comes near the blimp always has a smile on their face, so we always get constantly reminded of how cool our job is and how much fun we get to have. And she believes anyone, especially young girls, can have careers based on science, engineering, technology, and math. I would say there's a calculation where being prepared plus opportunity equals your dream job. So just prepare, prepare, prepare. <laughs> Good advice there for sure. Have you been in the blimp? I've not been in it, but I've been able to stand near it, and it is so huge, you yeah. just can't help but be impressed. Let me give the people at Goodyear our telephone number here <laughs> if they'd like to invite us for a ride in the we blimp can do it after live. that wonderful piece. Donovan, live from, from the, the blimp. blimp. I remember one time That's the Indians, cool. at uh, when they used to tell, well, they always televise right. the games, and they would televise a game and have an announcer up in the blimp. Right. I think Rick Manning used to do a, one, at least one game a year up in the blimp. Yeah, yeah. and then they put the uh, little billboards on the side of the blimp, and they'd have right. messages. Yeah. Yeah. So it was so cool. There you go, All I know. innovations, 216-344-3300. <laughs> <laughs> call, call us. Come on. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll be up. <laughs>